All right, let's take a look at number 11 in section 7.1. This is a pretty good one. Evaluate the integral using substitution and the integration by parts. Okay, so here's the integral. And how can we do this uh, with substitution? First of all, I see e to the square root of x. So let's let u, uh, or in this case, w, because I'm going to be using u for the integration by parts. Let w be the square root of x, which is x to the 1 half. And then the derivative, right, is by the power rule 1 half x to the negative 1 half. So there's my dw. And I look up here, I've got a, a, a 10 dx. So let me first multiply both sides by 20. 20 dw will give me 10 x to the negative 1 half dx. And I'm, I'm all set. It seems like I've got e to the w, but what's left is 10 dx, and I've got a 10 x to the negative 1 half dx. Well, if I multiply both sides of this equation by x to the 1 half, right? Of course, x to the 1 half times x to the negative 1 half is 1, right? If you think about it, just this is the reciprocal of x to the 1 half, 1 over x to the 1 half. So that uh, is equal to 1, or just add the exponents and you get x to the 0, which is 1. So I'm going to multiply by that. But remember, x to the 1 half is the same thing as w. So I'm going to multiply by, on this side, by the as x to the 1 half or the square root of x in terms of as, as w, right? w is equal to the square root of x. Here I multiply by the square root of x, and of course, that gives me just 10, right? When I multiply that. So both sides multiply by the square root of x gives me this. And now I'm set. I'm going to replace the 10 dx with 20 w dw. So I've got 20 w dw, and then the e to the square root of x is going to be e to the w. And so I've transformed it, but now notice I've got rid of the problem with the square root of x, right? Um, that, was, that was a problem, e to the square root of x. Now it's just e to the w, but I do have times w, so now this is where I need to use a substitution. Okay, I need to use a substitution. Um, sorry, integration by parts, excuse me. Integration by parts, I've just used the substitution. So integration by parts, I'm going to let u be the algebraic term, right? W, there's no log, no inverse trig. So I will choose the algebraic part. The dv is e to the w. Here I differentiate, so du is dw. Here I integrate, so v is e to the w. And if you remember the integration by parts formula, uh, said that the integral of uh, u dv is u v minus integral v du. So I'm going to do uh, u v here minus integral v, and then du is just dw. But now I just integrate e to the w, which is e to the w. Don't forget my 20 that's out here. I'm going to distribute that through. 20 w e to the w and then times negative 20 e to the w. So this is the uh, result, but remember we need to go back to the original variable, which was x, and w is equal to the square root of x or x to the 1 half. So I'll have 20 w squared of x e to the w minus 20 e to the w plus c. This is fine for the answer. I noticed in Achieve they had this. They factored out a 20 uh, e to the square root of x, leaving the square root of x minus 1, you could write it that way as well. Okay, I hope this is helpful. This is a really neat one. We really have to do the substitution. You can't use uh, integration by parts on this to start with. Like if you let u be just 10, uh, that's not going to work. Um, and, uh, you know, integrating e to the square root of x is not possible, right? We're not going to be able to do that right now with what we know. Later in the course, we'll talk about that, but right now we don't have the tools to do that. So the substitution allows us to be able to then do integration by parts. Okay, hope this helps.